We're getting one step closer to Borealis today because we're not just completing one class. We're completing two of them and they might be some of the easiest. So I decided the class we're going for today is the melees in the launchers. Now you don't have to do these together. Uh, I'm just pairing them together because you only need to do three weapons total and the challenges are pretty easy. For the melees, you just got to get 250 kills. That's the only base camo for this weapon. And then it's the 100 fills and extract just like every other weapon. And then the 300 kills while it's pack a punch. And melees seem to be pretty strong in this game. So this shouldn't be too hard unless we disconnect. And for the melee category, there is two knives. There is this gutter knife, and then there's a karambit, which I don't have unlocked yet, but I just need to do one more daily challenge and I'll have it. And then we have our RGL 80 launcher here, which also only has one base camo to do, which is getting 250 kills. And these are the same challenges, 100 kills in extract and 300 kills while it's pack a punch. And a grenade launcher seems like it should do pretty well in zombies. We just might need to pick up PhD. Might craft some jug though to work on this melee because I don't want to go down with it. But let's go ahead hop in and try to get these done so last time we came in here and got camos done it was our snipers and it took us forever to do because we just kept crashing out of our games and losing our stuff i did die a few times too but that's beside the point so the first time that i fully crashed out of a game it was actually my internet going out so i'm like okay that's fine it's on me but apparently there's then the strategy going around like everybody's using the exfil strategy it's like the most popular strategy to get like levels on your weapons fast and get a lot of kills easily but apparently there's an exploit out there where people are using like you can get unlimited kill streaks and people are using that with the sentry guns and just placing the sentry guns all along the way like all around an exfil site instead of just actually just shooting the zombies with your weapon and that is what is crashing these games so hopefully you don't run into people doing it here because uh that's really really annoying for everybody in the lobby to use all your to lose all their stuff just because you want to get some xp a little bit faster than shooting the zombies it's ridiculous i can't even believe it's a thing and i hope it gets patched soon because personally i don't think using the exfil to get a lot of camos get a lot of xp is a bad thing i don't think it's an exploit but once you start like duplicating glitching all these like kill streaks that's where i draw the line and that's where it, it kind of fucks up the game for everybody else the melees have been busted so far this is a one shot kill we are only in like the first zone so i would expect it to be but i'm curious if we can get this pack a punch and go into like other zones and it's still like a one shot kill but we just took out a quick little nest I'll take that max ammo. Helps me out a lot with this knife. Anything good for me in here? Oh, some deadbolt turrets or some circuits for them. Ooh, and what should we use on this? Maybe dead wire? Dead wire could be good. And I'll just stow napalm burst in case we need it for another weapon down the line. We might as well do some contracts as well. We need some money. Okay, the knife is still a three shot kill in the tier two zone without pack a punch. That's not terrible. At least if you're like 1v1ing a zombie. If you're getting swarmed, probably gonna end up in you dying. Oh, we got our daily challenge complete. I think our Karambit should be unlocked now. Honestly, I think we should be able to get this fully gold in just this game. Like as long as we get enough levels, which we only need six. I, I'm still in the, the camp that any weapons that don't have attachments should not have any levels. I said levels. Levels. The, there's nothing to unlock there besides a camo challenge, but it is only six levels. I can't complain that much about it, but it just kind of seems silly if you're not unlocking anything with the weapon. Why need a level up for? Ooh, and a self revive, some rare aether tools. I'll use one and take one. But as long as we can get our 250 kills here and the game doesn't crash, we should be all right. But I have seen that people are saying if your gilded camo challenge is glitching out, go into the game with no attachments on your weapon and don't pack a punch it to get your 100 kills in exfil. So I really don't want to pack a punch the knife this game. We might have to just wait to pack a punch it until we're doing our actual pack a punch challenge for, uh, what is it? zircon scale so i have to wait and see its true power until uh we get our first challenge done and this should get us enough to level up and start doing our challenge oh it's level five okay we need one more level might as well go find a spot to start grinding at is there any exfil locations that aren't being used i think this one's fine we'll go do it in a tier one zone i'm actually really nervous that they're gonna completely nerf exfil which is gonna suck it's gonna make getting any camos just way harder to do all they really got to do is just disable kill streaks in this until they, they can figure out how to patch the exploit. Because I don't think the amount of zombies in the game is crashing it. I think it's the amount of turrets. It's not meant to have like 14 sentry guns on the ground shooting like 800 rounds a second. I don't think the game's prepared for that. And honestly, I'm starting to think maybe I should change my field upgrade. But I don't think you can mid-game like you can in Cold War. Because energy mine's really nice. I like using it to get some XP quick. You know, kill some zombies. It's really nice in a pinch. Crazy that I'm even saying that. Like energy mine has been really good in this game for me but maybe i should start using 
like Aether Shroud or Frenzied Guard or something. Frenzied Guard could be really nice if it still restores your armor. Oh, and a large backpack? Give me that. Now they really can't crash this game. But we did hit our level six, so we need to start getting all of our kills here. It's weird how quiet the knife is. It's very silent. You don't get a whole like big swing sound like the wind behind it. There's no like big metal clanking when it hits. It's just a little knife. I've also seen that something that causes the servers to crash is all the drops the zombies give in the exfil locations. Why is the zombie walking in the air? What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. But when you're doing these exfils and you see a bunch of like ammo and armor drop, I'd say after each like two exfils, just leave the area so the stuff can despawn and come back. Because I don't want to be adding to the issues of the servers crashing either. So if you guys are doing these exfils to get some levels, get some camos, all that good stuff, you know, just be courteous. Leave the area after two exfils, come back, make sure everything's despawned. And then go back to business. All right, so we made it through two exfils. I'm hopping in the car. I'm driving away. Let's also kill some time for it to come back too. All right, hopefully that did enough to despawn them. Yeah, it looks like there's not any loot over here. We have 500 kills using melees. At least that's the little achievement thing we just got. So we should be getting to our gilded soon. Can't believe we already got that many kills with melees before even getting it up to level six. Kind of wild. And I am definitely coming into the next game with Frenzy Guard. Energy mine isn't doing us any favors here. And when there's a big horde like this, I'm just trying to constantly knife them. I'm getting slapped. Oh, there it is. Those are foam sands. So just 100 more kills and then exfil and we should be good. But I do have a decent amount of money here. I have 13k. I think before we exfil, I might try to run to a shop and buy a three plate armor vest. Because I'm not using the money for anything else anyways. Might as well try to grab something we can leave with. No! What the fuck? God damn it. Well, I guess we're getting on here with nothing. Maybe they'll be nice and let me keep my shit. Let's see. Oh, they did. Let's go. All of my stuff, actually. And I got my levels. So you know what? New exploit. No, don't do that. Don't crash the servers in hopes that you keep your shit. But we kept our camo. We just need to go in an exfil with it now. Kind of lame. We just couldn't get that the whole exfil part out of the way before it crashed. They gave me the same spawn as last time. I wonder if it's like predetermined or if we just got... Lucky, coincidentally. Not like this is a good spawn or anything, but we got all the same stuff. Okay, we made it to our exfil spot. We're just gonna get our 100 kills and get out. And hopefully it'll give us gilded. Or golden ligma or whatever the fuck. Now let's try out some frenzied guard. Ooh, I like the vision it gives you. Okay, now that I don't have any armor, does frenzied guard give it back? Oh, it does. That's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna call in this exfil and we're gonna take this one out. Because I'm pretty sure we're at 100 kills by this point. Alright, let's get out of here. Go. Skedaddle. Let's go. Okay, successful exfil. We made it out with our stuff. And hopefully that's gilded. Yeah, we had 262 kills. So that should be more than enough. Show me gilded. What? Oh, wait. Okay, it is there. I was confused for a second. Okay, that means we can start working on our karambit. Let's go get it done. And look at this inspect for the karambit. This is like the best thing about it. It's insane. But we are only level four with this. So we need to get this up to level six. Get all of our kills. Rinse and repeat. Wait a second. Is this sub base? Is this not snowy sub base right here? I think it is. Wow. Reused assets? This game is unplayable. No way we got a jug from that. What? That's crazy. And we're only about like one level away from being able to start grinding out our kills. So let's go find a spot to do it. Looks like a lot of the exfil spots are being used. So let's just go over here and force this guy to share. I'm just going to invite this guy to our squad because I'm not leaving this spot and we might as well share all these drops. I don't think he wants to join. See, we're friendly. What if I invite you now? Let's go. Just took a little convincing. Oh, and now he's leaving. Okay. Oh, no. Fuck. That lunge is crazy. I don't ever know where I'm going with it. It'll just lock onto a random zombie and send you at him. Oh, but well, we got ripped. So we just need 100 more kills and then next film. We're good. So we can probably leave the next helicopter. No, we went down again, even with Frenzy Guard active. They just ate through my armor so fast. Damn, that sucks. We already went through two self revives this game. Good thing we had them in the first place, though. I think we got our 100 kills. We already got our camo for sure. Let's just leave. See you later, zombies. Okay, we got the successful exfil. I'm spectating my teammate. What? No, I don't want to do that. I want to leave. Oh, this guy's over here doing the turret shit. Good thing we got out. Damn, dude. It'd be your own teammates. But look at this. This is the reason why your servers are crashing. People like this. This is ridiculous. Look how many turrets you have. You don't need all this. Get the kills on your own. Oh, and we got our gold challenge. Let's go. So now we just need to get pack a bunch of kills with both of our melees. And that class will be done. And then we can start working on our launcher. And I think I got an Ethereum crystal. Oh, no, I don't. But I can craft one. 
I can only craft one of them though. So let's just use it and hopefully we don't crash when we can do it. But me putting it in my inventory is almost guaranteeing it. All right, I am pack a punching this immediately. I'll use everything in my inventory. And let's get this camo done before the game crashes. It's all a race against people using these turrets. Maybe if we're lucky, we might finish it and be able to exfil and keep some things. Is this like a horse agility course over here? I can do some pony play, get my routine down. And we got zombies to kill anyways. So let's try to clear out this stronghold. I haven't done too many of these. This is a pretty decent way to get zombies to spawn if they do ever end up taking out the whole exfil method. And you can get some good loot for it. You just don't get nearly as many and it's not as repeatable. I'm running into a slight problem here. I can't get this one because I don't have any guns. There's an RPG. So I'm gonna have to do that. Oh no, there's a Mimic. Actually, Mimic's kind of ass compared to this knife. Got messed up immediately. And we got them all, let's go. That stronghold had me more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. That's so fucking extra. Shut the fuck up. What are you even talking about? A long-tailed cat in a room full of rock rocking chairs? Was its tail gonna get stuck in the chairs or something? You'd just be saying anything. Well, I guess now we can head on over to an exfil location. Try to knock everything out and then leave. And now we can start doing this. But first, before all the zombies start attacking me, Take a quick look at the Pack-A-Punch camo on the Karambit. Pretty clean. Karambit's actually pretty small. I feel like we gotta be close to Zircon skill now. We've gotten so many kills this game already. Oh, there it is. There's our Zircon scale. And our helicopter literally just left, so we're gonna have to do one more exfil. All right, zombies. I'm out of here. See you later. Adios, bitches. Let's change this out for just the normal knife. And we can't craft another Ethereum crystal, so we're just gonna have to raw dog it. Let's just hop in and get it over with. Okay, let's hope there's some good contracts nearby us. That way we can just start doing those, get them done, get enough money to pack a punch and get out. Uh, no decent contracts that I see. But I do see a cargo transfer contract all the way in the tier three zone. And I'm feeling a little bit risky. Let's make sure that we have our frenzy guard before we go after it though. Cause it would really suck to go in there and just immediately go down. But I'm thinking with the decoys we got, we just throw one of those, the zombies leave us alone. And if we have frenzy guard, It'll save us for a little bit. It won't make us invincible or anything, but it'll help out. And we could get better loot. But we also don't have a self-revive, so I'm kind of scared. I have been talking all day about not wanting to lose my insured weapon slot, so I'm very indecisive when it comes to taking risks. Maybe we do this one to start, and then we do a, a harder one after. So this is our warm-up for our tier 3 contract. Throw a quick decoy. All the zombies go away. I open the door. Stay back while the mercs throw a nade or shoot or whatever. And then we hop in the vehicle and we're basically done. We just gotta make it to the next point. And just like that, we're done. Oh, and two self revives. Yeah, we gotta go for it now. And stamina up, they're basically asking us to do it. Is the contract still there? Oh, some dickhead took it. Well, I'm gonna go do another contract and see if that one respawns. Well, I don't know if tier three contracts respawn, unfortunately. And we're done with this one. Didn't really get anything too good though. I guess Shatter Blast could be good. I'll try that out. Yeah, I don't think those contracts respawn. That's disappointing. Guess we just got to go to an exfil. Oh, what the fuck is the point of the frenzy guard if I just go down? I guess I wasn't fully activated by the time I turned it on. That's stupid. I don't know if I want to be doing this in a tier two zone, especially without like jug or quick revive because these zombies hit way harder and some of them got armor too. But also, I don't want to go to a spot where somebody's already sitting there with turrets. Actually, this one's wide open. I'm going for that. What the fuck is this lunge, dude? It's like I swing and it starts pointing me in another direction. Ooh, almost went down again. I still might. I don't think I've seen a single full power since I've been doing the knives, but I've seen so many max ammos, that's crazy. They're fucking trolling. Oh, there's a fucking full power. After I throw a molly. It's like they're programmed not to drop in when you're using a knife. Oh shit, I'm going down. I don't even know how I got out of that. I'm gonna be real. Oh, and there's our Zircon scale. Let's go. So we can dip out of here now. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Go, take off. Leave. Let's fucking go. So now we have how many weapons Zircon skill? We have five weapons. So we need 31 more to be able to get Serpentine. Well, let's throw on our RGL. Let's go ahead and grab... PhD. I'm gonna grab elemental as well, just for fun. Now let's start grinding these camos out. All right, let's use PhD right away before I end up downing myself. A little dead wire. And I guess I can go do a mission while we're waiting for the X-Fills to spawn. And something I am concerned about is that 
I only have eight bullets, so we get 12 total. So I'm thinking we might actually need to pack a punch this, but I'm scared if we do pack a punch it, it's going to glitch out our golden uh, ligma camo and we won't unlock it when we're done with getting like our 100 kills and X filling. But if we also don't pack a punch it, then we're going to have no ammo to do anything. So it's like a catch 22. Fuck it. Let's pack a punch. And if we don't get our camo, then that's just on me, I guess. Well, technically it's on the game, but I'm aware of the issues the game has. So let's pack a punch it. Now we have 54 bullets in reserve. This kind of kicks ass. This goes crazy. Maybe we can get away with using this at a, a tier two exfil. Or we can just like annoy this guy until he leaves this exfil spot. Oh, and we have another player here. You know what? I'll be nice. I'll go to this exfil. Good luck, fellas. Now let's see how well it does over here. Could definitely use some speed cola. That's for sure. And it kills in way more shots. But there is a stronghold right up here. Maybe I'll clear this real quick. And we might find a perk or something good inside. Kind of hurt to find out. No! <sighs> you have been disconnected from the quality of for three servers. Fuck you. Did we lose all of our stuff? You're fucking damn right we did. Do I by chance have another grenade launcher in here somewhere? Nope. Dumb game. So fucking stupid. I gotta hop in here and grind out time to take off of my insured weapon slot. All because the game fucking crashed. Well, since I really don't have anything to lose, I'm gonna go try and grab this cargo transfer all the way in the tier three zone. So I don't give a shit if I lose this gun. It's not like I got a, a large backpack or anything. Let me just make sure that I have an energy mine. There we go. Let's go try to get it done. All right, let's see if we can do this. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie, but this could be huge. We get something great out of this. Let's hop out right here. Grab the contract. Actually, no zombies around, so we're chilling. And now we gotta find where the spot's at. Oh, critical damage. Shit. That's fine, though. Let's hop over here. Throw a quick decoy. Get that garage opened up. Go to the decoy, please. Open this up. Hop in the vehicle, and we're already halfway home. Now, let's stay on the roads. I'm sure we don't have to drive through, like, any off-roading bullshit. Oh, we're almost there. Let's do a quick little delivery. No DiGiorno. Let's go. We got it. Going to decoy. So any zombies that come over here, leave me alone. And we got a self-revive, a three-plate vest, and a rare aether tool. So nothing insane, but I think it was worth it. Now we can just do some other missions. Hopefully it'll kill some time off of our insured slot. Oh, and a large backpack. Let's go. And some stamina up. We're getting some decent items to take out of here, assuming that the game don't crash. I'll do like one or two more of these contracts. And that should kill our insured weapon slot time. I better see six hours taken off this insured weapon slot. An hour and nine minutes. Let's go. So let's get this back in. And I'll grab Aether Shroud this time. And we can hop back in and get to grinding out these camos. Because we still have none for this gun. All right. Now we should be able to grind this camo out. I want to see how many I can kill in just one shot, though. That's pretty good. Pretty decent amount of zombies. We should get this camo done pretty quickly, though, despite all of our uh, woes with getting disconnected. So we get a lot of kills per shot here. Come on, show me my camo already before this game kicks us out. There it is. Just gotta ask for it. Okay, so if everything went right here and we don't disconnect next game... We should only have one more game of grinding and we're done. We got it. Let's go. Beautiful. And let's finish this. Please don't disconnect me this game. Okay, let's grind. Let's do this fast so they don't have an opportunity to kick us. To to Ooh! A pack-a-punch two crystal? Give me that. We can start grinding right away. I was thinking I was going to have to do a bunch of these. This is perfect. We can start speedrunning this. Now, one very slight complaint about this mode that I want to put out there. This is literally only a convenience thing because I can't be fucked to look around all the time. I see stamina up right here, but I have no idea where PHD is without zooming around and looking around the entire map to find it. And PHD's logo looks very similar to these Aether nests. Maybe not a complaint, maybe some feedback. Let's uh, add some color to these icons so that way I can find PHD a little easier. This looks so crazy with Pack-A-Punch on it. You just put the gun right up to your eyeballs with this inspect animation. Looks fucking wild. Oh, there's our Zircon scale. We're all done. Let's fucking go. I'm hitting a nuke. And I'm getting out of here. All done. I took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. But overall, still very, very easy once we have the weapons in our hands. Now, just because I'm paranoid, let's make sure that we have it. 
All right, sweet. Let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what they look like there. All right, this is what our RGL80 grenade launcher looks like in game with our zircon skill on it still not the biggest fan of it but honestly this is way better than forge it's the the better platinum tier camo in my opinion and this is what our knife looks like with zircon skill on it honestly it looks pretty decent on the knife not too bad and last but not least we have our karambit here and honestly just a glimpse at it reminds me of csgo this thing could be like a ruby doppler or like a crimson web karambit it just looks sweet. Probably like the coolest animation in the game. Maybe between this and the revolver. All you gotta do is spin a weapon around and it looks sweet. But well, that's two more classes that we have Zerk on scale. We're getting a bit closer to getting to Borealis and these two classes might just be the best in the game. The melees were absolutely dominating everything. It's just a little dangerous to do up close to the zombies. And then with our grenade launcher, we were taking out like at least 20, 30 zombies per grenade. So that plus PhD, it's like the M79 all over again but this time with just more ammo that you can shoot. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. And again, I just wanna thank you guys for all your love and support. We've gained like close to 2000 subscribers since this game came out, which is insane. So thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one later.